Hi there, I'm Dave Finch, the Curator of Archaeology here at the Manitoba Museum. And you've probably heard of arrowheads and you've probably heard of spearheads or spear points. Do you know what a dart point is? So today I'm going to talk about a piece of technology that we see in archaeological sites and it was here in Manitoba for about 6,000 years. But a lot of people might not know about it unless you're a hardcore, you know, atlatl hunter or spear thrower uh, uh, hunter or a real history buff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here with kind of a rough history of Manitoba projectile points. And we call them all projectile points. They're all uh, made the same way. It's just they're more or less. But uh, they're meant for different things. So here, these are the oldest types of projectile points in the province. They're about 11,000, 11,500 years old, stretching to about six to 8,000 years old. And they're big, lanceolate, really well made, and they're meant to go on the end of a spear. So you'd, you know, lance caribou with this or mammoth or something like that. And then arrowheads, everyone's familiar with those. They're little tiny pointy things. And most of the power there is not coming from thrusting a spear, but it's coming from the actual bow and arrow. So it's mechanical. So they don't have to be big. It just has to be pointy and go into whatever you're, you're shooting it at. And then there's these, which are in between. And these are dart points. These fit on the end of an atlatl dart. And the term atlatl is a Mexican term, and it was the term that the conquistadors first experienced the weapon. Um, they were not too fond of these things because they would punch through armor. And modern replica atlatls are known to go through a steel drum. You can actually punch it through a 55-gallon drum. And you can see they're mid-sized points. They're kind of in between arrows and in between spearheads. And there's a real range of them. And this is the way the weapon actually works. At its heart, the atlatl is just a stick. It's a lever. All it does is it extends the length of your arm. So if you're throwing something, just like a baseball, for example, you depend on the length of your arm to get force. So if you had great big giant arms, like the atlatl allows you to pretend you have, you can pitch with a lot more force. Now, when we find these, we don't normally find wooden atlatls in archaeological sites unless they're frozen or submerged. But what we do find are sometimes the tips, the projectile points, and sometimes these stones that are banner stones or weights that are used on the atlatl. So again, we kind of infer what these weapons look like. It's pretty ingenious, actually. It's a, essentially a, a big arrow, fletching, and a, a long shaft. It's been straightened, and there's tools actually for straightening it as well. And they have a foreshaft that fits into a socket on the end of it, if I can do it. And what that means is you only have to make one or two of these. They're not going to get lost. When you throw it, you can go and retrieve these because you put a lot of work into them. But these, these may get stuck into an animal, so it's effectively like a little harpoon. These are, we won't call them disposable, but uh, they're a little easier to let go of. So just to show you what this looks like, and I will not pitch it across the lab. Basically, you anchor the tip into the socket on the atlatl, and you throw it. Something like this will go for, well, you can make 50, 100 meters without a problem. There is a disadvantage to this weapon. It has a lot of force. But if you're pitching it, you have to be standing up, and you are very visible. It's not great for hunting ducks. Something like a bow and arrow, you can shoot from a canoe. You can shoot from a blind. This, though, it's much better if you're out in the open. So as a result, the projectile points that we find are usually associated with bison kills. So medium-sized or large-sized prey, so sub-mammoth, but not necessarily with the small stuff, like fish and game, that you'd be using a bow and arrow with. 